guys, so it is time for my July favourites. Now, I'm not one to say this because everyone says it, but for me, this past month has literally flown past and now it's August. What the heck? <laughs> but anyway, let's just get on. And I've got a bit of that cold coming back, so I sound a bit funny and sorry for my sniffles and everything. Okay, so for my first favourite for July, was my Chanel Vitalimia Aqua Foundation. I am in the shade BR12 Beige Rose. Um, this is such a beautiful foundation. It is water-based, so you have to give it a good shake before you put it on. And it's quite light, very natural, and I'm wearing it today, and it literally doesn't look like I'm wearing any foundation at all. It is a beautiful foundation. Um, for many skin tones. Anyone can literally wear this foundation. It is beautiful. And I have very oily skin. And I know girls who wear it that have dry skin. So it's a great high-end foundation out there, which I've been absolutely loving this month. My next favourite has been an eyeshadow. This one is by MAC, and it's this one right here. And it's called Quarry. Quarry is like a, a beautiful matte purpley mushroom kind of shade and it's great for just putting through your crease just to define it a little bit more and I've just been really loving it I mean it goes with almost every eye look and I just really love it <laughs> my next favorite has been black pencil eyeliners um the creamy ones so those ones are my NYX slide on pencil and jet black and my urban decay Glide on, do they call it? Yeah, Urban Decay Glide on pencil in zero. These suckers are pretty much exactly the same, and they're just the creamiest of um, eyeliner pencils ever. They're fantastic for smudging out, which is how I've been loving wearing these. So I just draw um, a very thin line on my on my lash line or underneath my eye. I've done both today. Um, and then I've smudged it out using this brush, which is my other favourite. So these kind of go hand in hand. This one is a Sigma Smudge Brush and it is an E21. I haven't had it for long, uh, this month. Um, but I really, really, really like it. Um, I was after a brush that I could smudge out because I didn't like using uh, this one, which is the E25, because I felt like the bristles were just way too hard and for smudging and it would just tug on my eye and would hurt like crazy and I just did not like it. So I was after a new smudging brush which is why I tried this one. This is from the Performance Eye Kit um, and I really 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 like it. My next favourite is kind of doubling up with my last favourite. It is the NYX Slide On Pencils. I have been using these like crazy in July. I have five of them here. I have the NYX Light On Pencil in Platinum, which is a silver. So I have it in Brown Perfection, Purple Blaze, which is a lovely purple. Golden Bronze, which is gorgeous. Lovely bronze colour. This is lovely for people with blue eyes. And then the last one, which I just showed, which is Jet Black. So I have been absolutely loving these. If you haven't tried them, like seriously try them because they're practically identical to Urban Decay's Glide On pencils, only way, way, way cheaper. Another favourite of mine this month, which is another eye product, is the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in Barely Branded. I picked this one up when we were in Hawaii um, and they've just been released in Australia, which is awesome. The um, Metals range, I think they're called. Yeah, metal range. Um, this is a yellow based beige shade. And it's great to put underneath practically any eye look you're doing. But I feel like... Dang it. Hello. Hi. I'm currently filming. Now, I don't know if it's got to do with, like, I bought this in America and not Australia or whatnot. But, <clears throat> or if this is an American formulation, but I feel like these, um, these metal ones that I got in America, um, I feel like they're a lot smoother and nicer than the Australian ones. Like the Australian ones, um, I feel like are more gritty. I don't know. I heard someone else say that and, um, thought, yeah, someone else thinks that too. But anyway, 
regardless, this is awesome. I love it. Um, check it out if you have a chance. They've been running hot. Everyone's trying to get them. But they're, they're fantastic. They're worth it. My next favourite is what I'm wearing on my lips. <laughs> it is the Rimmel Apocalypse in Solstice. It is a gorgeous brownie nudie colour. Like, it's, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's the perfect combination of brown and mauve and nude and just awesome like it goes with everything and um i really like it it's a great everyday color and if you haven't tried out the rimmel apocalypse where have you been living they are awesome i really really love them so try them out this won't come as a surprise to you if you have been watching my last few videos my next favorite is the revlon lip butter in sugar plum i feel like i have droned on and on about this lipstick so much. <laughs> it is just the perfect plummy um, berry shade for winter and autumn here in Australia and I really really love it. It's the perfect amount of colour and moisture and it's just really fantastic if you're after a new berry or plum lipstick check this one out because it is so nice. Alright that's it for makeup. Now moving on to other things. Um, my next favourite is what I am wearing. <laughs> this ring, um, I got this for my birthday from Tim, my husband. And um, it's a Pandora ring and it's amethyst, uh, has an amethyst stone in the centre. And it's just silver and it's massive. It's quite, um, quite thick, the band is quite thick if you're not used to bands like this. It does feel a bit odd when you first put it on. It's great, it's a lovely intricate uh, design. I first saw it on a girl who works in the bank here and I was like, oh that's a nice ring, I bet you that's Pandora because I can, I can spot Pandora a mile away. And, um, and then when I was in a Pandora shop, I was like, yes it is. So it is, it's so nice. It's just a lovely, lovely statement piece but to be honest, I wear it practically every day so <laughs> not so much statement. <laughs> so I love nail polish, that is no secret. Um, and I always include nail polishes into my monthly favourites. And my favourite polishes for the month of July have been Pale Pinks. And I've got a few here to show you. The uh, first one that I want to show you is called Bubble Bath. Bubble Bath is kind of a pale nudie pink. Um, it's really, really pretty. These are all quite similar to what I'm about to show you. Uh, the next one I have is called Second Honeymoon. This one is more of a pale peachy pink. And then the last one I have to show you is Pink Doodle, which is just a gorgeous pale pink with, um, it has like micro shimmer in it. I, uh, I think it might be purple, I'm not quite sure. But it is like so gorgeous so pretty this is my like my favorite pale pink nail polish so how i've been wearing these is painting every nail in one of these except for my ring fingers and then on my ring fingers i have been painting them with nyc's silver bullet nail polish and then on top of that i've been putting tyler glaze um nova yep tyler glaze nova and it is a silver holographic glitter. I'm just going to put this up to the camera so it's completely out of focus. And look how pretty that is. Ah, uh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love this glitter so much. So I just really like the combination of the pinks with a little bit of silver glitter. I just think it looks really pretty. Now I tuck this one in at the very last minute. Um... This one is a hair product, and I don't normally have hair products, but I really like this one. Now, this one is by, I'm so terrible at saying this name, Schwartz, Schwarzkopf? Hopefully I got that right. It's the Instant Volume Powder. Now, it comes out like a talcum powder, except it's a more finely milled, and um, it's kind of like, kind of like hairspray, but in powder form. So how I do it, because I have the finest hair in the world, well not in the world because mum's hair is finer than mine, but still. So I, I put a little bit on my on my fingertips 
and then I just go like this and I just work it into the roots of my hair up the top because that's where I want the volume. That's what I've done today and I use some hairspray and I've actually got some volume today. Oh my stars. So I've really been enjoying this. Um, feels like there's nothing in there because it's so, so darn light. Um, but this was $10 and I think that's a little outrageous. <laughs> but $10 for, uh, doesn't say how, how many grams it is. But yeah, just that little, little container there. But it's um, really given me lots of extra volume, which I have been enjoying. My last favourite is a perfume, and it's only a little sample, but I just love it. This one is um, Valentino Valentina. <laughs> it is so gorgeous. It's a white floral scent um, with a little bit of vanilla. It's just a really gorgeous, girly, pretty scent. Um, I looked it up to see how much it would cost to buy it, and holy smokes, it is so expensive. But of course, you know, I should have expected that considering it's by Valentino. But it's a really, really nice scent, and I've only got that much left. Uh, so I might save up <laughs> to, to buy it, because it's just such a lovely, lovely scent, and I love my perfumes. Oh no, I've got 20 of them. I did a uh, I did a perfume collection video a few weeks back, um, but I love my perfumes. What can I say? All right, that is it for my July favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye. This one is a Sigma spud <laughs> sponge brush. Yeah. <laughs> Another eye product that I've been using a lot of this month, while we wait for the post to go past. Where are your apocalypse? Um, this one is the uh, Bird! Shut up! Like two birds in a house on the corner of 6th and 8th I've gotta say